All right, guys, welcome to the part four of designing a click of Jira similar systems, essentially doing a data modeling with DynamoDB. Uh, this video, we're going to again add a new feature that I'll show you uh, is each ticket has several attachments, right? You can attach multiple files, right? You can add files, right? Like code or whatever media files, right? So let's add that feature into our design, okay? So again, so far, that's amazing. You know, this is what our design looks like. A user, a ticket um, has a multiple user. A ticket can also have multiple comments. You assign priority statuses, a lot, lot, lot more, right? So if you haven't watched um, and you want to watch, here's the part. First, watch this video, the concept, then part one, then part two, then part three. This is part four. If you are directly watching this, you're not going to understand anything, okay? So do watch the previous part. Okay, so we have a new entity here called attachment. So the tickets will have multiple attachment. And I also want to know who are the person who did that attachment. For example, on a ticket, uh, two people are working, right? A and B. And let's say A attached a file and B also attached a file. So I also want to see who was the person who attached these files, right? So what I'm going to do is in this attachment entity, um, if you're observing from my previous class and previous tutorial, we're going to create a reference. We're going to create a user and a ticket reference here. So now we know basically who made that attachment and which ticket was that, right? So now my access pattern will be, I'll make this into, this was from, from the previous lab. So now uh, for a given ticket, for a given ticket, fetch all the attachments, right? So basically uh, when I give a ticket, um, ticket ID, I wanna essentially fetch all the attachments uh, to it, right? Or I wanna also see, uh, for a given right. so I also want to see uh, who for example user X right? so show me all the attachment that he did on a ticket Y right these are my access pattern right so this was the first design this was the second design first design was similar EC second design third design and now this is where we're gonna do the fourth design so yeah, let's let's rock and roll, boys. So uh, okay, so we'll add this now. The um, change here is uh, we want to add attachment, right? So what we will do is uh, we'll add a attachment here. Attachment will essentially create a random gold as as we were doing on the all the labs. Now we're gonna create a secondary key. So attachment one hash. Uh, so uh, attachment will be on the ticket and each ticket can have many attachments which are made by the user so I'll use ticket one right? attachment one ticket one I'll make this a little big and again we have a second attachment again uh, this is again uh, this is again uh, attachment to see how I'm modeling it right so we have started from scratch and we have we have we have came to this point now right so now what I'm going to do is uh, on my GSI one, right? I will be assigning the attachment here. So I'll say over here right? and I'll also say over here and who were the people who made the assignment, right? For example, let's say the user two made the, that attachment, right? Now let's see how this uh, appears in NoSQL. So let me give me some time to add this. Um, and again, I also want to see I'll add a object here, for example, attachment object, which will show me who made that object, what time they are, they essentially uploaded the file, etc., etc. Attach object, right? So uh, over here, what we'll, we'll be doing is basically this will have a metadata, right? File name whatever there is right uh, then we will have the s3 part of the object the media will be on the s3 right so s3 and of course the date when they uploaded this attachment right that's that's basically what it looks like so we'll copy this now let's add this in the NoSQL and then I'll show you the access pattern. Again, this has evolved over the time, right? We have been doing this from lab one, two, three, and this is lab four, right? So hopefully this is um, familiar to you. If you are a new, you're not gonna get wh what I'm saying. So I better recommend watch all the first labs and then you know come to this fourth lab. So I'm adding an attachment object here in the in a, here, right? And then what I'm doing is over here, 
uh, I'll essentially add the data. So I'll say add data. And then let's add the attachment, right? So I'll show you attachment one, attachment two. We'll add two items here, attachment two. Uh, again, this was done on ticket one, the second attachment. So this ticket had two attachments, right? And we'll also show who were the user or who, uh, who did that attachment. Uh, right and then uh, we are also gonna add this one this was user one and uh, let's say the user two made an attachment and this was on ticket one i'll show you how it looks like so just bear with me <laughs> all right so back here right so now my gsi one will appear as if you observe for a given ticket i have all the information here so for a given ticket i can fetch all the user who are assigned to the ticket i can fetch the username the profile picture their alias right uh, that you would usually see on a click up ticket right i have comments who are the people who commented on the ticket and what are the actual comment their date i also have a priority was the priority medium high low so here you can see the priority on the ticket was high uh, now i also have an attachment so the user 2 made an attachment on this uh, ticket uh, file name and the raw s3 path and the date when he did that right so now for a given ticket i can fetch all the items or i can simply use sort key to essentially filter from my data right pretty easily this hopefully makes sense right uh, and same goes with the user so i can for a given user i can fetch all the related items right in a single go so i can for example user one was attached ticket one ticket two he worked on two tickets these are the comments these are the priority um, and, and etc 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 so this essentially gives you the user view this gives you a view based on the ticket and this is your um, regular table how it has evolved overall right a user we have the user data we have the tickets data now we have the comments data we also have the priority and now the attachment right so you see how is it this has evolved it's 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 fabulous like look it it looks it looks complex but it is easy if you're following from first part it's literally super easy right this was the first design where we had user and tickets right then the second design we have a new feature called comments uh, i guess it's comments right yeah we are at comments so the, the, the third video we added priority right we model that and now we are adding attachments as we progress we're gonna simply just keep on adding to the model right so as you see right this is a complex model right uh it's actually how a click of jira or any 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 sort of ticket would behave right so for a given ticket you will have all this information and what's fascinating here you know all of this has been modeled on DynamoDB NoSQL, right? We essentially have um, the status in progress block. Who is the person who's assigned to the ticket? We have the priority. We have all the comments who made um, on the ticket by the particular user, right? Then uh, we also added a new, new feature called attachment. So uh, you can add attachments on the ticket, right? We just assigned that, right? So you saw, right? It's pretty much the entire functionality, right? Uh, now, the next thing that we'll add is tags. Each tickets can have multiple tags, which will allow uh, which will allow you to essentially filter the tickets, right? So the next video, we'll add a new feature called tags. That would be part number five. This is video number four. Again, this Excel file is there on the Google Drive. So I expect you guys to check that out. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys are enjoying this amazing data modeling exercise, right? And I'll see you in the next video.